Yeah, you already know. It's your boy Gilly. I'm with my man Mikey T, the movie star on Report Card Radio. It's your fucking Report Card, right? Hmm? I'm about to have all A's, all B's, C's. Right. Complex is about to hire you for everyday struggle, man. It is? Yeah. <laughs> They're coming. How you know? They're coming for you, bro. How you know? I, I, um, Funk Master Flex added them and said that. Bro, you are like The Rock right now. When The Rock was in wrestling, you're like The Rock of hip-hop right now, bro. <laughs> yes, you're like electrifying. <laughs> so let's talk about it, man. Let's get back on nah, the I'm a nigga who believe that you talk shit into existence. Is they coming for me for real? Because that check is nice, ain't it? Mm-hmm. All right, man. So let's get on to the topic that's on everybody's mind. Oh, can I smoke some weed first? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like let's you. chill. I'm like, well, fuck, how are you gonna say fuck Mikey T? I'm like, all right, you can say fuck Gilly. Right. He ain't the one reading this shit every day. I mean, they can say fuck me because I don't give a fuck. There's more people saying your name, but um, I'm telling you, the amount of watch time we have right now, like we have millions of minutes of watch time. And that's something that's going to attract the numbers, too. Damn, Mikey. We're on some shit, man. No, how you know Everyday Struggle is about to call me? They need a new host for Everyday Struggle. <laughs> they do, but how you academics. knew they was going to call me? It's about to be Academics, Gilly the Kid, yeah, and whoever that chick is. It's a what's it But name? Gilly, the question is, in my mind, uh-huh. where am I once you get on mm-hmm. Everyday Struggle? I mean, I don't know how much how much weight I'm gonna hold, Mikey. You're gonna hold a lot of weight. Yeah, bro. I mean, mm-hmm. once you get to that second and third season. Oh yeah. Then once I get to that second and third season, I do my own shit. No, we yeah. gotta stay on everyday struggle. The shit's gonna be like the new Breakfast Club. Oh, okay, cool. How do you feel you about take? Uh, can you fill Joe Budden's shoes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you trying to be funny, though? Let me tell you something. I don't know if I'm going to do better. I'm just going to be me. You know what I mean? And if that ain't good enough, then, you know, you can kiss my ass with their tongue out. You know hear I me? Mean? That's a line right there that everybody has said, bro. That, that's almost trending. Yeah, I mean, everything I say is trending. You know why, Mikey? Because I talk platinum shit that butter to make the fiends stutter. Good, good. Give me another, Mikey. You hear me? Yo, but I'm just saying, once you get in those complex buildings, bro. <laughs> I'm is on. Once you get in those complex buildings, bro, you need you need that guy who's lighting that fire. And, all right. You know, giving you all the topics to talk about. You know, I was gonna talk to you about the Floyd Mayweather shit today. Mikey, you know what though? You would really be good for my podcast, though. Yeah, I know. Million dollars worth of game. You would be, cause you come up with all the fucking topics, Mikey. Yes. You really fucking do. All right, so here's my dilemma right here. We got a topic right here. We got Floyd Mayweather coming right. out years later. We're not really doing something right now, but we're actually doing something. Uh, so we got Floyd Mayweather dissing 50 right now in 2018 saying, yo, you copied Ja Rule. Mm-hmm. You see, that's what every, all the Mikey T, the movie star fans, would expect us to talk about, right? Well, I don't think 50 copied Ja Rule. People have their own opinion. I mean, one of, 50, one of 50's best friends, Floyd Mayweather, said he caught him. I mean, that's because he's mad right now. You know, niggas always say shit when they mad. But people usually say the shit that they feel when they're mad. I mean, but that's just, even if you felt like that, that's $300 million later. They don't give a fuck about how you feel. I pay you to change your feelings, nigga. You, you should have said that when I first came out. You know what I'm saying? You three hundred million week, nigga. I sound like I'm so what? That's true. Fuck you gonna do? I'm three hundred million up, nigga. I go buy a Bugatti too. Yeah. But that's not what Fifty did. Well, it's him. That's like that's the stance he could take if he. What does Fifty do? Fifty goes finds the most personal story that he can find out there. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When you when you um. Get into that arena, going back and forth, like the like a diss rap and shit like that. You ain't supposed to play with niggas. You ain't supposed to spar. You supposed to pop pop. Yep. No rap. That's what push you a drink with. Pop pop. We don't want no more. We cool. Feel me? I put the I put the picture out. 
of them kissing, right? First line, God damn it, Dwayne Carter, you can stun in his mouth. Fuck you, bird man, daughter. And then the ad list said, what you, Brill? We yeah, ain't playing. We, we not, not fucking playing. playing. We straight for the juggler from the gate. He ain't you supposed play? to play. Gilly, hold on. You took that picture of them, or where'd you get the oh, picture? Man, that's that man here. Man. That's old shit. I'm just saying. You took that picture? I'm just saying, right? That was at a video shoot, by the way. But listen. I'm just listen. listen. I'm just saying, when you when you go at a motherfucker, you ain't supposed to play with him. If you're gonna do it, do it for real. Do it a hundred percent. Don't don't be don't do it halfway. I mean, you do shit halfway, you get halfway result. So let's talk about so let's talk about the Birdman and Little Wayne lawsuit. The lawsuit came to an end. Little Wayne actually won it. That's what's up. He got his money. That's, that's how it's supposed to work. Artists supposed to put the work in. They supposed to get their money. That's how it's supposed to work. So that's what's up. Salute the Little Wayne. So being back with them, you know, back in the day, uh, seeing all the other cash money artists that have sued Birdman in the past, did you, like, foresee something like this happening? Like, them breaking Come up Come on, like Mikey. Congratulations to Lil Wayne. He got what he was owed. That's what it's about. You know what I mean? The, everybody knows what it is. You know what I mean? Think I'll ever see that money though? I don't know. Hopefully. I mean, he was granted that, so hopefully he, you know, he gets what's owed to him. But uh, do you think does Birdman legitly have to pay him that money? I mean, could he just I run out the clock? I, I ain't, you know, I ain't a lawyer, so I don't know the league legality. What is it called? Legalities. I don't know the legalities of it, but uh. Pretty sure you had to get something already. So do you think they're going to reunite, though? I mean, why would you reunite with somebody that owe you $54 billion? You know what I mean? You ever heard the song Reunited? Of course not. Reunited, and it feels so good. They was talking about a woman with some good pussy, man. They weren't talking about a little nigga that burnt you out of $54 million. Feel me? There we go, Joe. You know, uh, Wayne had a chance to leave him back in the day, back in the early 2000s. Like, Jay-Z was coming to grab him, but he ended up staying with Bird. No, he ain't had no chance. He was going to go with Jay-Z. He called him up. They sent the contract over, showed he was still under contract, and he had to stay with cash money. Why are we talking about, about Weezy, though? He just got $53 million. He throwing ones in the fireplace this winter to keep the house warm. No, I'm just wondering what your take is. On I mean, I'm happy he got paid. $90 million lawsuit just ends. He got 90? It's a $90 million lawsuit. Damn! He got a 90 ball? Birdman's worth like $110 million. Where does that leave Birdman? Fucked up. That's pretty obvious. That tangle of twisted like an Annie Ann's breath. You hear me? You gotta give up 90 of them. Shit. God damn. That was for 90? They added another 40 on top of it. Fuck it. I'm taking out a lawsuit next week. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs>